welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your energy forecast, not only for today, Sunday, August the 3rd, but the entire week, all the way through the 9th, Saturday the 9th. So thank you, thank you, thank you, as always, for watching, tuning in, subscribe, and retweet, and posting, and Sherry and David, thank you for the gift in the mail. You know that coffee will be drunken, <laughs> drinking consume. So I truly, truly appreciate that. Um, so today, we're starting off with the third, August the third. Number three is our Empress. That's beginnings, birth, starts. You know, kind of a fresh outlook, if you will. It's abundance. It's plentifulness, if you will, as well. And also, all the numbers of today add up. So you take eight, August, three, the day, and 2014 added up. You're going to get the number 18, which is our moon card because we just came off of the star card and the and previous card was a tower card. So our moon card has moon energy. It's reflective. It's peaceful. It's feminine. It's intuitive. So this is a time where you can utilize any of those things throughout your day. And you add up one plus eight, the number 18, and you get nine, which is hermit. Hermit energy is amazing and peaceful. It can be stressful for some people because they're not used to being alone in the hermit energy. They're used to being around a bunch of people and gossip and drama and not getting into their own feelings. So this can be a time where you can dive into your own feelings and just see what's going on. So what I do when I do a Sunday reading is I pull a tarot card for each day. So I'll do one final shuffle and cut. And the tarot card going along with today's number three, energy, empress, moon, and hermit energy, is going to be five of cups. So it looks like we've got some um, some changing, shifting emotions right here. You know, she's pretty sad. Um, her mascara is running. She's got these cups all in front of her. And that shows me just there's emotional upheaval, unrest. This is a time where, you know what, maybe it's time to get in the hermit energy. Maybe it's time to trust your intuition. Maybe it's time to utilize that empress energy today and, and start something brand new. But definitely a feeling of emotional movement shifting and changing it's a number five of cups and that is shifting and changing and moving and it's just the most crazy number for me um it's a big wave ride it or get pummeled you know my story there so moving on to two, uh, monday monday is the fourth and the four number is that emperor energy very strong masculine man, but also knows the feminine side, knows when to just sit and be comfortable and not go to battle. You add up all the numbers for Monday, and you're going to get 19, which is our sun card, the brightest card in this little pattern from the tower, which was darkish, kind of, into the star, to the moon, to the sun. Beautiful, bright. Once again, more beginnings and births. Oftentimes, this can be about babies coming and then you add all those numbers up, 19, you're going to get 10. 10 is a wheel card, wheel of fortune. Typically for me, it's just the goings and comings and the daily over and over and over and over and over. But, you know, more and more I keep seeing that, you know, look at it almost like a merry-go-round. It just goes round and round and round and round. But you can get off any time. And there's a, there's a multitude of things right there in front of you that you can step off to. So if you're on the wheel and you feel stuck, jump off. Which is interesting because 10 boils down to 1, which is about beginnings and starts. And there's the jumping off point right there. The card to go along with Monday is going to be, ta-da, 6 of Wands. And this card, as you can see, very celebratory. This guy's riding back on his horse, um, just, you know, in, in victory and in celebration, it's bright, it's beautiful, wands are creative, fire. I remember someone saying of this card, um, I don't know if I'm the horse or the rider. And I thought, wow, that's good stuff. Because sometimes the horse does all the work while the rider gets all the glory. So you may, be do, you may be doing all the work and while you're boss man or somebody else is getting all the glory. So, goodness, there's a lot going off. So utilize that energy today with, with your emperor. Maybe you are the emperor. Maybe you're the emperor's horse. <laughs> so moving on to Tuesday. Tuesday is the five day. Five is, or the fifth day, and it's five. And that is our, um, another another word for it. <laughs> that is our uh, faith card. I can't want to say hierophant. But in my deck, it's the faith card. But in other decks, it's the pope, the hierophant. So five can be, first of all, it's that shifting, changing, moving number we just talked about. Five can also be um, the here five or the faith card. It can be about your religious beliefs, your spiritual constructs, um, that that which you believe in. 
what you've you know kind of grown up on um and that can if you allow that to shift and move you're usually in a good place but if you hold tight to that it can be frustrating it could also be your church your religious organizations um that again where your belief sets in and all the numbers add up to 20 which is judgment card and that is all about being freed from the things holding you back being released from the grave sometimes it can be about judgment but it, it, for me, the reading is it never comes up as that. That's just not um, a tool I recognize for that card. Others can see that, and that, that works for them. But for me, it's pretty much always about, and even if it is a final judgment, ugh, you're released from the burden of wondering what's going to happen next, what's going to happen next. And 20 bulls down to number two, our high priestess. And she is a pretty smart, intelligent woman, person. Knows the law. She's very wise. She's also very, very intuitive. She is someone that, like, the village comes to for wisdom and guidance um, on either level. And then the card to go along with that for Tuesday is going to be our strength card, number eight. The entire month is number eight energy. This is the energy of the month right here. This is strength. This is power. Taming the wild beast. You know, it often is very feminine because it's double fours. It's number eight. It's the infinity number upright. So it's just a very, very powerful card, I think, in almost every deck I've ever seen. Moving on to Wednesday, number six. Six is our lover's card. Unions, combinations, you know, contracts being signed, lovers coming together, soul contracts, adopting that dog that chose you. That's another soul contract for me. Also, all the numbers add up. going to give you 21. 21 is the world card which is bringing things to an end, closing off the chapters. It's like the final hurrah. Let's move on to something next. And that, 21, boils down to three. We're back to Empress, which is what we are on this day of this video. Shooting, number three, Empress. Burst, beginning, starts, Mother Earth, Gaia, all that good stuff, abundance. The card to go along with Wednesday is going to be the Seven of Cups. And as you can see, the Seven of Cups, just so much there, so much to choose from. Sometimes this can be overwhelming. Uh, wondering what to choose from, you know, you've got so much there, but I always say just make a decision, make a decision, and it's usually emotional because we've got cups here, so we're dealing with things that are of the heart and very emotional. Uh, moving on to Thursday, number seven, we have left this seven energy behind in the month of July, seven energy is that charity energy, but we still deal with it because this is a seven year. 2014 equals 7, 2 plus 1 plus 4 is 7, and that is that chariot energy, quick, fast, moving, changing, shifting, very polarized, so it's black and white, not a lot of gray in the middle. And all the numbers add up on Thursday to 22, which is a master power number, which beautifully enough is boiled down to number 4, very feminine, just like we saw yesterday with that. Um, the, uh, the strength card is number double eight. Double fours, which equals eight. So this is a double. This is a single four day, just peaceful and beautiful. And that is back to our emperor. So we're starting to sweep back around here. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Echo, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it's kind of like we get to revisit the same kind of energy um, this week. And the card to go along with Thursday is going to be the Hermit card. So we're really sweeping some of the energy back around. So this is one of my favorite cards. I just really, really appreciate this guy. This is a place where I like to go, like to be, like to meditate, like to, you know, draw from the strength of this Hermit energy, getting down into the earth, getting grounded, getting connected. Just such an amazing, beautiful card. And that's for Thursday. So utilize that Hermit energy when you feel the seven energy of the day starting to move you and pull you. And it's master numbers energy. So very much a good time to utilize that. I hear a little dog is scratching at the door. Probably Zuzu. So Friday of this coming week is number eight. It's the eight day. It's the eight month. Um, it's one of my, my nephew's birthdays. He was born in 96. So he was 8, 8, 96. Um, all my nieces and nephews, um, well, except for my old younger brothers, but one was born May 8, one was born 8, 8, one was born 2, 8. So they're all born on the eight day, which are, just circles our family. So that number eight, we talked about a strength card. The entire month is strength. Next year is going to be a strength year. It's going to be very different than this year for sure. All the numbers added up for Friday give you 23, which boils down to number five, which is our faith card again. We're wrapping back around again. Faith, belief system you know, your constructs, religious organization, your spirituality, all that kind of comes in there. Sometimes it can be like burdens to bear as well, like the cross. And the card to go along with Friday is going to be King of Coins. So this guy, one of the best fathers, 
just uh, real solid, real grounded, very earthy. Um, love the green, love the gold here. Just symbolizes health and growth and family. This is your resources, money, uh, finance, stability. So on this day, step into this king of coins energy for the strength you need and for when you may be struggling or grappling with your belief system because um, of the faith card energy that, for that day. Finally, Saturday, number nine, we're right back to Hermit Energy again. The Hermit popped up. The Hermit Energy has been here on Sunday today and then next Saturday, number nine. And that is just such beautiful energy that you can get down to the earth. 24 is the addition or the sum of all the numbers for that day, um, 8, 9, 2014. And that boils down to number six. Six is our lover's card. We've already talked about that. Unions, combinations, coming together, soul contracts. And the card to go along with next Saturday is going to be the Four of Cups. So this card is often about indecision. That guy's looking up at the card and he's like, what do I need to do? Four of Cups. Okay, indecision. Sometimes you need, either need to jump and do it or sometimes that, that is divine time that you just need to wait. That's where you got to trust your intuition and your heart since we're dealing with cup cards before you make the move and just figure out what you need to do. So don't hesitate too long, but trust your intuition. This, that's the fine line right there. So all that being said, all that being said, um, you can check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org. I'm going to tell you, Spirit has not told me yet to change the animal spread, so I'm going to leave it up for right now. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be up for August as well. But when I usually get a leading to change the special spread, I do. Um, what else was I going to say? You know, I'm very excited. It's two years now doing this video. And um, I, I don't do this a lot. I, you know, I don't beg or ask or anything like that. But Spirit has prompted me now this morning um, to say this. And, and it's an odd one for me. But if you ever feel led to, quote, donate towards the video production that I do here every day. I spend about an hour now. It used to be about 45 minutes. Now it's about an hour of doing this. And, um, you know, the, my videos, I'll be honest. I, I'll be honest with you. I do. I'll be honest. Um, I will be honest with you. You know, the videos are monetized, which means any of the ads you see that pop up, there's pennies coming back to me. In the two years I've done this, I've netted $150. So yes, so for 800 and something videos, $150. <laughs> and you only get a check when you pass $100. I say all that because if you ever do want to support on my website, intuitivemessenger.org, almost every page that has um, something to purchase, there's a button at the bottom that says gratuity. It's a PayPal button. You are more than welcome to and go there and put in any amount you want. I don't know what the minimum would be. I think it's probably a dollar or two. Um, but if you ever want to donate to that, it is much appreciated just to uh, you know, push through and continue to do this as I grow. Um, so will the finances of that, which will one day, this will be a base income for me that I can just produce videos and teach. And then the private sessions, the talks, the speaking engagements will go along with that. So that is my intention as I continue to grow and work through both my careers, which I love very dearly. And um, I see them shifting and changing probably in a couple of years. But uh, all that being said, I thank you, thank you, thank you. Have an amazing day tonight. Blog Talk Radio, Jamie and I will be there. And we have a guest, but I don't know who it is. I can't remember right now. Um, I think her last name is Rinaldi. <laughs> Sorry, because um, you just told us this week, and I and I don't don't know who it is. So anyway, have an amazing day. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.